fear was afraid and then God again. Until you cry, there is some certain thing that will not believe you. Cry out to God. That is why we have come. And that's what we are going. Look, this is your psychedelic pious Christian cannot take you. You get to put on the helmet. Can I tell you something? So it comes to a time when prayer will be going on. And prayer will get to a certain level. The woman will not know that she will do. She will do it. What is it going to be? See, I tell you, when prayer sets, our great grandmother knows that they will move their entire time. Exactly. No, it's. He never, he never said prayer. You will put your head tight on your waist. Now, prayer be that too because now fight. Can I tell you something? In the volume of your prayer, it can just work. The volume of your prayer is having what is chasing you. Of your prayers, it can be what is happening. I see some one woman that is there. The picket just crossed. And it was like, he wants to die. And in touch the child, touch the child, was supposed to die. This one, the way she cried, and he carried the decay, you know, you know, that's the time I was right to the hospital. Now, because you went too strong, went in the way you wanted to have this with you, Jesus. You are too quiet, you are too psychedelic, you are too pious, you are too polished. Listen, you are too polished for this military you are looking for. You are too posh, you are too posh, you are too, you are too, you are too clean, you are too pure, you are too slave. Slave queen, slave mama, you are too slave for this place. What are you doing for? You are too slave for it. It's not for slave queens. It's not for pious people. It's not for psychedelic Christians. It's not even for my own big Christians. It's for mad Christians. If I die, I die. If I perish, I perish. But God shall be saved. He said, when I cry unto God, he said, when I cry unto the Lord, my enemy turn their back. Listen, you don't have to chase them before they turn their back. Can I say this? Listen, there are things that will naturally leave you after today. If your amen is a believing one, then it will happen from this moment. I said, there are things that will leave you after today. He was calling God, he was not calling Mama. You do, you do. You are too quiet and too traditional. See somebody they were careful. Something came like your mother. If your mother is that powerful, they for Sunday will leave. I know you know if your mother is good. But when you have that key, it's also not where you go. I like when they call it for Saloba. Oh, not your son. For oh, son, no one. And what do you say? For son, no one. Not son, no one. And don't forget, I don't know for few minutes. Nah, you can do it. Who knows? Who is that? 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 So that is what we do. We praise the Lord. And as he was crying, he was calling God. He was calling God, serve me, serve me. And when God heard his cry, and before you could know what, you see what happened. As he was running, he meant, God help me, God help me. Somebody was supposed to say, some things were chasing him. And when God said, what is your problem? What is chasing you? He said, see the sin. Before he could know it, he couldn't find them again. Because when God heard his cry, they naturally come.
that is your story. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Father, play judgment. You know, one of the things that God will do in your life is to corrupt your brains. Corrupt your brains. They read to God. They go to the prophet and say, Prophet, you see this my sister. You see this my brother. This way they go. And I must have to let you go. But I won't make it in the end. Anybody that was put to me in the end of the day, prophet. Whenever, whoever, their altar, I decree that your picture of your altar will catch fire at this moment. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So now, 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 before I go to that, before I, I, I go to that, that uh, Ezekiel, that I was going to you, and Ezekiel to pray, okay, I want to show you, I want to show you this people. Now look at, uh, look at, uh, the Psalm chapter, chapter 41. Psalm chapter 41. Right? I think all of you have gotten your, your waters, right? Why would, before the prayer goes, you need to take your water and then I will tell you to share it as you pray. And I will tell you what will happen to this place in water. Somebody, something miraculous will happen in your life this month. Amen. If you this will come in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, Psalm 41 from verse 5. Psalm 41, verse 5. Now, look at, look at their prayer. Look at their prayer. Look at their prayer. How they used to say, person. You know, best way they want to sell or best way they want to sell. That one don't do them. So now look at their prayer. Verse 5 says, My enemies speak evil of me. When shall he die and his name will be perished? Is that is it? So can somebody say, say, okay, say that's my portion. That's my portion. That's my portion. Wait. See this one. That is a no for enemy. That's a, what is here. It is what they do is to seek the day of the date of your death. Did anybody want to say? Am I talking here? Yes, sir. Their prayer, sir, no. is that the death of your death should be revealed to them. Now, somebody is praying. Don't say, "Me, no, they are beware. They are beware. They are beware." Right if you say wrong, then that means you are not here. I'm talking about the people that want to get. They put that pray wrong prayers. Alright. Number one, they pray to know the date of your death. The date, the day when you go die, they won't know. And then the day when you won't marry, they won't know. Because they want to do something with their date. Can I say something? Every witch, every evil bird that fly with the date of your death in their mouth. By the power of the Holy Spirit, as you shall seven times fire, they shall fall on God. And you shall fire seven times. Yeah. You know why I say this? Because we are not, we are, we are not really connected. Amen. Because somebody is seeking for your date of birth. And some carry up some bed, don't carry some money fly. So before they reach their home, they will fall and die on the way. Yeah. They will say, fire! Fire! Now yeah. look at the prayer of your enemies. What did they pray for? How did they pray that prayer? Your enemies, see what they pray. He said, my enemy. He didn't say, my good friend. He said, my enemy speak evil of me. What did he say? When shall he die? So that his name may perish. He said, that, when shall he die? They are looking for the date of your death. You hear me? As I put my hand on this ground, whosoever that has taken it as a business to put you in the grave, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command their hands to wither. I command fire to consume them. So that his name will be no more. 
And, then, and the next man said, if he comes, look at the man, look at the person. If he comes to see me, he speaks vanity. His heart will carry that iniquity to itself. When he goes abroad, he tell it, if anybody that carries your water to go, you shall come. Do you know why I like this prayer? We are in abroad now. Right? We are in abroad. Anything that they put on Jesus, you are as you shall fire in this prayer, whatever it is shall be condemned to death. Hey! Like this, my two sisters, you knew the came is not true. You guys came one away from the And then we are here in the land of evil to look for something better for your life. But anybody that put this back on your back, say whatever you put back on before you, then you go to you and waste your time. Then you go to you and that by evil. Anyone has put this tag upon you in the name of Jesus, I command this tag to transfer you right now. Verse, uh, verse 7. He said, All. Oh. Verse 7 said, All. Oh. All that hate me whisper together against me. Against me do they devise my heart. Ah, then verse 8 said, He said, An, an evil disease said they, Cleave it fast unto him. Now that he's still on the bed, Cleave it down unto him very fast. Now that he like it, So that he will not get on. Put your hand in your right, your right hand on your, on your stomach. I decree every disease, every sickness, every evil arrow that sent to you by your enemies as you shut fire, it shall return back to the center. This is a prayer. This is someone's prayer. Where shall he die? Now that we see, let us do fast so that he will die. Let us do it so that he will not get up again. And who are these people that are praying? In verse 9, he said, Yeah, my old family, they are friends. You know, I told you last time that there are people that they use their hand to sell me. And one is your friends, and another one is family. He said, My old family are friends in whom I trust in them. Which did, which did it of my bread? Sometimes I said, when you go them. And then he said, that, he said that he had lifted up his heel against me. And after verse 10, the last verse said, But thou, O Lord, be merciful unto me and raise me up. You know, when I see that, that reason, what he said there is, Raise me up fast. Right? He said, Raise me up. <laughs> That I may, I, I, I may requite them. That is, I may pay them back. Lord, raise me up quick from this sick bed. Raise me up quick from this sick bed. Raise me up quick from this condition. Raise me up quick from this situation. That I may show forth that you are God. I may show forth that your hand is upon me. I may show forth that something good has happened in my life. That something good has happened in my life. I pray for you this day that God will raise you fast. I said, God will raise you fast. Amen. If anything you are struggling for, suffering for, God will raise you fast. God will raise you fast. God will raise you fast. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now I want you to say this prayer. Father, Father. bless the judgment. Bless the judgment. Judge them. them. That pray not prayers. Judge them. That put my request. Judge them.
prayers. I, I hear what I'm saying. I want you to walk around and pray this prayer. Father, corrupt their prayers in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray right now. Hey, 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 hey. Lord, corrupt their prayers. Corrupt their prayers. Corrupt their prayers. Corrupt their prayers. Look at me. How many of you pray in the village? This is 
go, brother, they will know. When you come out in the morning, I see your father pointing at the What is he doing? He's praying. When is he a native doctor? Put a um, drink in his mouth and some cola and say some talents and pull it out. What is he doing? So, whatever prayer, don't think it's in the prayer you pray in the church. There are prayers that are going on that is not the kind of prayer you pray in the church. Amen. So, when those people are working against you, if they are praying, they are praying to their cause or whatever, whoever they are praying to for something against you. When we saw someone who they pray said, Reveal to us when we shall die. It's not a good prayer. So, if anybody can be praying, let people can be praying, the wish can be praying, somebody that does not want your brother can be praying. But if you walk around and ask God to corrupt the prayer, their prayer should be corrupted. Amen. In this year 2021, every evil prayer that they have made in the point of contact shall be corrupted in the name of Jesus. Amen. So therefore, they are going to shall fire two times. They move around and say, Father, corrupt the prayer. They are told the prayer of those who have made their prayer point. In the name of Jesus. They are going to say, Holy Ghost! I'm acknowledging 